Just in the past few days, I've been posting quite a lot about uh, hormones and steroids and trying to pop up a little bit of education on my uh, content all about steroids and hormones. So they're interchangeable words, mean pretty much the same thing, um, but we have this um, view of them as steroids. We say all steroids and it's something to do with uh, people taking drugs and performance enhancing uh, athletes and all that kind of stuff. But steroids are just hormones. Well, another word for hormone, hormones, um, the, the, the steroids that the athletes take are tend to be synthetic um, and they do have a performance effect, uh, improving muscle mass, uh, decreasing fat distribution, uh, improving strength, those kind of things. But that also is what our normal hormones or our normal steroids do for us. OK, and that goes for men and women. Now, the problem is that apparently since about the 1950s, our uh, testosterone or the testosterone levels in men particularly, I'm talking about men at the moment, um, have been going down by 1% each year. So there's a 50% drop um, um, in testosterone since the 1950s to now. Uh, and what that might mean is that the lack of testosterone, which is involved in growth, which is involved in emotion, which is involved in strength in the bones, um, which is involved with fat distribution, um, with uh, many, many functions of the body, and hormones make all our functions of our body work, um, and their, their interaction with all the other hormones do that as well. Um, that means that men particularly, and we've been seeing a spate of suicides in men and, and, and sort of uh, emotional changes in men, that might be down to the fact that there are there is lower testosterone in men. Now that can be tested quite easily by blood tests and you can get that uh, done privately online or you can get it done in the NHS. Now also hormones or our steroids or our testosterone lower from the age of 50 anyway, but we're finding out that they're lowering before that time, actually in the 30s. Um, now that does affect also fertility. Okay, so if you're trying for babies, if you're trying for a kid and you can't, um, you can't uh, conceive, it might be down to the fact that the man has lower testosterone, which decreases fertility, sometimes gets rid of it completely. Now, I found this out myself uh, when I was 50, um, and I was diagnosed with something called XXY47, also Klinefelter syndrome, which mean, meant that I was born pretty much without any testosterone. So I was infertile, and I had all these other problems involved with it, in sleep, libido, all kinds of interesting stuff, um, but I didn't know. But one in 600 men, according to the statistics, have this XXY47 or this lower testosterone um, and quite easy to sort out, get tested uh, by your doctor, blood test, that's what happened to me. And then they put me on HRT, so hormone replacement therapy. So not just for women, but for men, because we all have hormones, men and women. Um, so now I'm on that depo injection every three months of testosterone. And that has changed the way I behave, that has changed the way I lay down body fat and non-muscle mass. So it's really important, people, to get yourself checked. I'll be doing more stuff on uh, hormones at a later date, but also we need to think about it as therapists, or as osteopaths anyway, um, maybe chiropractors and, and obviously physiotherapists, but you need to think about this because if your patient has a lower uh, hormonal level or changes in hormonal level, that affects how they recover from their musculoskeletal injuries or from a, a surgery or from an illness, all right? So at some point we need to look at blood work. Anyway, that's that for now. I hope you found this interesting. Please do message me uh, if you have any issues or, or if you relate to this and uh, we can discuss it further.